All right, so we're recording now. This is a demo review for Frozen Caverns. That's the name of your team, right? Yep. Um, on Swiftwater this time. Last time we looked at product. Looks like you guys are on defense at the beginning. I did notice from the demo page that you guys won this. <laughs> um, I think mo most of the time, uh, well, unless it's a roll. If it's a roll, then you can't really learn much from a demo, but if it was at least close, then you can definitely still learn from a demo that where you won. Uh, I do notice I that we don't see any Crits Krieg at the beginning. I think we decided not to roll Crits Krieg that time. You don't have to, it's fine. And this one, I think, I don't think this one was a roll so much as it was kind of just a bunch of like scrappy, like... We held them forever on the last point. Bad points. Uh, <laughs> and then we pushed through really strong. <laughs> when it comes to traps on first, there's a lot of different places you can put them. Um, I don't like this trap because this is actually just visible to people who are coming out. You generally want them to be like not, not visible. So I would recommend on roof, or actually at this point of the log. Sometimes you can put them here and get cart pushers. They roll us all the way to last. Really? Interesting. <laughs> There'll be a lot to talk about then. Um, so far so good. What you guys are doing is all fine. You guys are all just not not dying in tunnel. Um, you have your sniper going for a play here. Is this your spy disguised? No. This is actually your sniper. Um, spy is up on the second level there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. This is pretty standard, but if, if you're going for this play, it's a pretty high stakes play. You get caught. That's unfortunate. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's worth going for, I think, sometimes. Uh, this is not good. Your NG is a little slow to... Yeah. Everybody else rotated. It seems like your NG was lagging behind. You gotta make sure that everyone is getting out and into apartments on rotation. Especially your engineer. So the fact that you guys don't have an NG on this point is actually really bad. And I'd imagine, since you said you got rolled, that's probably a big reason why. Uh, Drafty's standing in the good spot. Your combo generally is standing in the right spots. This is a pretty... Oh, okay, yeah. Your pyro should not have been dropped there, in my opinion. No matter guy stabbed there. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah, this this makes a lot of sense. I, I mean, honestly, like, it wasn't just the fact that you didn't have a gun, it was the fact that you guys had, like, a pretty scuffed uber exchange, and then getting stabbed by the medic after... or by the spy afterwards certainly didn't help. Fortunately, your opponents don't have Uber, so you guys could potentially still hold here. We are really bad at uh, second. We really need to work on our second. Yeah, I can um, I can speak to that if I can pause for a second. Well, I'll do that later. For now, I just want to focus on what's going on. Yeah, they just have their combo in. Um, at this point, you guys should be just giving up this point. But this is not a good situation for you guys because I like the play that your scout went for there. Trying to force the medic. Oh, and then you snipe the medic. Perfect. Okay, so you guys are stabilizing now. Their flank tries to go for a play, but you guys are back out. Okay, yeah, so that was actually a, re a good retake of third. Um, your sniper really kind of popped off. I think Windex. Well, actually, I see. I see why he's doing these traps. They're fine. He's trying to catch out like someone bombing up there, which is actually pretty clever. He should be tr definitely spamming this more though. It. He should have a trap like around this corner and maybe up here. Uh, what what the, what your opponents are doing here is pretty useless. Well, they do kill your heavy. That's bad. Yeah, your heavy should not have died there. Oh no! And then the spy. Yeah, so this is not looking good. You guys have add though. So let, let me point out that like... You guys gotta recognize when you have add and then just use into them. Like, you could have used in sooner. They still don't have uber. If you actually just committed a bunch of players through IT in that door, tried to kill their medic, it would have been huge. But now they just have uber, they're gonna be able to use back into you. 
So, like, I don't know if you guys do count Ubers, but you definitely should be. And you should be exploiting situations like that where you have add. Your spy can always tell you when you have, uh, when you have add to by checking. Alright, this is a... <laughs> This is a strange pl uh, position from Windex here. Yeah, he gets caught out. That sucks. Okay, we did save our money, thank god. <laughs> you guys are kind of getting owned here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I know you win, so that's why I'm, I'm interested to see what happens. So far, I've seen the spy be way too effective against you guys. Uh, you gotta be... have people spy checking, but... In addition, you just have to have people turning around more. Like, on any class. Like, literally any class. You can be turning around, and it's fine. Don't yeah, e don't always expect... I think, especially, like, uh, Drafty, whenever your Uber's about to end, just check behind you, because he might just be waiting, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I've been... I thought I've been doing pretty good about that. You have. I can tell you've been getting better at it. Yeah, thank you. Nice catch on the spy. You just denied him there. Your sniper's in a good spot. This is how you hold this point. You guys are doing well. You have the... Your sniper is just in, getting buffed, and... Uh, I get in this window, and then I, like, regret it. Yeah, I regret it instantly. Yeah, that's a bit of a ballsy play, but if, you, if you're coordinated with somebody, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna get go. denied. Yeah, I think that, that that is a little greedy, I would say. Well, I think it's a lot greedy. You don't want to be dying like that. Um... That's fine to use there, because their medic had already died. And you, were, you wanted to save your heavy. So it's fine. You guys want to be careful, though, in post-ubers. So... I guess I gotta pause just for a second to comment on that. You guys used in here, and when the uber faded, you had, like, three players still just standing out here. That's really dangerous, because their sniper was watching that. So when, you, when your uber's fading, you always want to pay, pay attention to where you're positioned. You want to, like, already have escaped and be in a safe spot when the uber fades. Because uh, what often will happen is a, a sniper will just be looking at you, and as soon as the uber fades off, you're just going to all get farmed. Looks like their NG has, is getting some good positioning on in yard here. And they're pushing up while your combo, well, except for Windex, is dead. Yeah, and Drafty, Drafty kind of had the right idea. I feel like Windex was overextended there. Uh, he could have been falling back with Drafty and just... Kind of was passively holding from down there, knowing that you guys are probably going to just give up the point. Yeah, you, you can't have your combo members dying like that. Like, your pyro and heavy died. Your combo's got to be staying alive if you ever want to hold any points, really. So you guys are on last now. I, I, I do not like the spot that your NG is using for a gun. Might be good as a little mix-up at the beginning, but I do generally think that a gun up here is uh, more optimal. Yeah, you're heavy getting picked like that. See, that's that's what I'm talking about, like spy awareness. And I think I remember Sanaka talking to Noir about this. Well, this spot's not really optimal for heavy, right? He should be sitting on the the ledge. Uh, yeah, you can you can play here occasionally, but you generally want to be like yeah on the ledge, on the stoplight, over here in this corner. He said someone made him do it, but I don't remember who. Nobody fucking told yeah. him that. I don't know why. He... Yeah, sta standing, standing just like right here, it, it's not terrible, but the only, well, it actually is kind of terrible because a sniper can headshot, actually yeah, headshot yeah. you from here. So yeah, there's a great picture of the sniper about to do that. Yeah, this is not a good position. It must have been someone who told him to do it, or he got in his head about it. But yeah, you guys are staying alive. You're doing fine. It looks like Windex knows where to be positioned here and where to be spamming. He knows to just deny cart. Their spy goes for a play, gets denied, but yeah, your heavy got sniped. Your gun goes down. But then your spy makes a play. They're gonna go for an exchange here. This is fine. They totally beefed against Windex. I feel like they were trying to focus him. You get out, it's fine. Oh, got the med. I forgot about that. Oh, and you clean the met. You clean up the med at the end. That's really good, Mr. Clean. <laughs> uh, very nice. Windex. Okay, very greedy. I would say, very greedy. Yeah, I, I don't like him going out there into red room there. Just make sure Windex knows that on defense, like 
even if you kill the med, you feel like you have a good position. Unless your team's with you, you shouldn't be walking out like that. Uh, his life is very, very, very important on defense of payload. Or in Highlander in general, I should say. It's like this spy is... The spy's probably expecting your engine to be up here, but since he's not, it's just throwing him off. Oh my god, I don't think he's Fine even using games. a cloak and dagger. It's weird, he's just waiting f for something. <laughs> uh... Well, he can't really do much, because, uh... Oh, okay, yeah. He, he got really close. Yeah, yeah, that was a little too close for cover. Drafty noticed him, though. Damn. Drafty was not giving him his back. Yeah, your heavy gets sniped again, like... He gave him a passive-aggressive passive, passive aggressive back. Like, he, he taunted it, but he didn't allow him to stab it. Like, I don't know who told your heavy to do that, but just make sure he knows not to stand there. It's just a terrible, terrible position. Not yeah. using, not using, no, I used. Yes, yeah, so that was a pretty good milk. Right. Um... You didn't drop- nobody- nobody died. So it's a perfectly reasonable milk. Uh, Windex probably did not have to drop down here. But he lives for it, it's fine. <laughs> no <laughs> blue! <laughs> I don't even remember that, that's hilarious. Wow. I, you're- it, it's kind of weird because your heavy's been dying a lot, and usually a heavy on defense here is really important. Especially when the cart gets close, but you guys are still able to hold despite that. Uh, something I am noticing is that you don't have, you don't have quite a, enough presence on, in this hall. Your soldier can be here a lot, and just like trying to peek this and spam. Make sure you have someone like in here or just by this pack watching the, the flank. You kind of want to have eyes everywhere so you can call when, if and when they're ro rotating, or just to prevent getting flanked. So okay, now your heavy's in a better spot. Yeah, it seems like your soldier is playing more combo-oriented, which I think is, uh... It can be good. And especially if they're on banner, like he is. But I would I recommend more, like... Here. Yeah, especially if you're playing with combo, it's, it's it makes sense to use stock, because you don't even need the healing. No, I mean, that, like, he usually didn't use stock, so I'm surprised he was using stock. We Weird. probably told him he had to, instead of using the direct to... But, I mean, usually on defense you want to go with the black box, but it's really fine. It's Like I said, especially if you're playing more of a combo-oriented soldier, you're going to be being buffed all the time anyway. Uh, the only thing that really is making me nervous about the way you guys are holding this is the fact that you just don't have anybody watching this, but I already mentioned that. It seems like the enemy... I, your I your opponents aren't it. even, like... Your opponents aren't even I exploiting it. it. I check on it, like, every once in a while, but since I don't have a soldier with me, it's scary for me to go in there. <laughs> I am surprised that this gun has not gone down a million times because of its position. Any class really can like not even trig or trigger it to shoot and stand here and just chip it away. If they ever had a direct hit soldier, it would have been gone down like like pretty quick. So I I, I just don't like that gun spot. I think you you want to go up here. You know what's funny is it's actually working right now. It's denying vanilla from capping the car. <laughs> And you have your heavy He's there too, to as like. <laughs> no R, look at him, he just intently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he needs an arrow. Oh, he's gonna hide and get the sandwich, so I guess that's okay. Yeah, their spy is doing a good job of like pressuring the cart. Looks like they're going for an exchange here again. But they use way too yeah, early, they do have cart presence. Cart, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys just weren't looking at the cart there. It shouldn't just be your heavy looking at the cart in that situation, because your heavy was there, just trying to react to it, but couldn't do anything. It should be your demo, really. Your demo, like, they're going to use it up here. It, you use on your pyro, your pyro denies it, and then your demo is just always looking at the cart. And, like, you know, for anybody, like, else trying to flood in through either of the sides, but, yeah. It shouldn't just be your heavy, because that's too much responsibility. If they put, like, two or three people, especially on the cart at once, your heavy can only, like, mow down one at a time, right? So, so yeah, don't, don't let him cap under your nose. It's a thing that often happens on this map, so I don't blame you guys for letting it happen. Uh, from watching those, a couple of those pushes there that we managed to stop, uh, I think looking at it, it was just that we managed to pick off, like, a fair few members of their team 
with both of those big pushes. Like the first push, we picked off like half the team right before they went in. Yeah. Or as they were trying to. And the second one, um, I think we dropped a couple of vital members. Like I know the sniper immediately went down, and I forget who it was else. And the rest of their team just sort of fell apart. Yeah, you you guys are definitely like, at least there, we're working off of your pick classes, which is fine. But you want your combo to be able to hold their own in just in case your pick classes can't make those openings. And that's just working on your uber exchanges and stuff. Wow, you got their soldier denied you guys a lot there. Doesn't really matter. Your main goal here is just to cap the cart. Uh, the rest of your team should just be going for sacks. Um, meaning just bomb over this side. Yeah, Windex has the right idea here, just going in. It's okay if you die. Wow. Mix up. <laughs> See that air shot? Yeah. Just died. That, was nice. <laughs> that was a nice air shot, but it didn't it put Windex at like 1 HP. Their scout's going for a play here. This is interesting, along with the spy. Yeah, watch out, watch out for this kind of shit. A lot of teams will have spies just try to kill your card pushers. Just always expect it if you're a, a card pushing class. Um, just one thing I remembered about spy when the medic's coming out of the spawn. He can jump up from the ravine and stab him as he's crossing over the log. That's right. Nora was ready immediately that Yeah, Nora's in and not taking a lot of damage. I like it. Uh, you guys get good positioning. And it looks like the, your opponents just let you have such good positioning before before they reacted. So oh, here they come. They're going to burn everyone, it looks like. Yeah. Why did he, switch, he switched off of his flamethrower. That's weird. I, That's I, I wonder if he ran out of ammo. Wow. Oh, that wasn't a headshot, but still, your, your sniper cleaning up there was kind of funny. That was a I, that was a I pretty like good he exchange. Killed everyone in that room too, though, if he didn't run out of ammo or whatever he was doing. So let me just pause to speak about this for a sec. The way you guys did that exchange in apartments was good. I will say that I don't think many teams will let you get away with that. The reason it worked is because your heavy was able to get in and get already really good positioning and damage before you even had to use. And then also, you guys were able to just bring your whole combo into that room before they even knew to use back into you. So you guys used first. Their Uber was better, but their Pyro could only do so much. And I think their Pyro did run out of ammo. So a lot of things like kind of went your way there. Um, I think in general, what you should do in, in this for an exchange here is use on your Pyro first, lead on your Pyro. Have your Pyro make room with Air Blast for your demo and then just flash your demo for kind of the rest and make as much space as you can, and then you have your heavy standing behind, being the doorman, so to speak. Um, making sure that if the, if the exchange does not go well, your heavy can just have the door open for you guys to come back out. If the exchange is going well, then your heavy should just commit through the shutter and uh, clean up. Because oftentimes heavies will win post ubers in this exchange by just staying revved up, walking here, and just cleaning up anybody who's still in. So that's how I'd recommend you do exchanges there, but the way that, the way that worked did work. But like I said, I think it was mainly off of the mistakes that your opponents made. Um, here you guys are opting to go through here. I think this is generally okay. Uh, but it can be a little dangerous if it's being spammed. Yeah, your he your heavy just goes in. It's it's amazing. Okay, yeah, their heavy catches out your, your heavy. He kind of pushed in when our pyro was really low. Your, your heavy was too far forward, in my opinion. Um, your heavy shouldn't really be leading. He should be kind of the one back in the back waiting for the post. Um, I'll tell you on my team what we like to do is we'll have our pyro and demo going for the like uber in here, like in IT and on the point, and then we'll have our heavy actually play the cart during the uber exchange, so our combo kind of splits up a little bit. That's actually worked out really well because usually heavies will just get utterly destroyed in this room. I mean, you can't really get away from demo spam, and a pyro can just rush you and kill you, so... You know, there's different ways to do it, that's just the way my team does it. Uh, anyways, you guys went for an exchange, now you're trying to win the post. It's kind of a delayed, but you have you have forward positioning here. Um, you guys shouldn't be lingering here, though, you should just be committing. Yeah, you kind of are hesitating there. And once you get over here, you're pinned by the sniper, which you were. It's not really where you want to be. I wouldn't recommend lingering like in this area after after an uber exchange. Just either commit or just leave the way you came. Uh, they've had add, so you guys can't haven't really been able to push. 
their heavy standing up there is very exploitable. You should definitely tell your sniper to go uh, on flank here, especially if your flank has control of boiler. Yeah, too. Like, yeah, like th your sniper should be able to just destroy these these players uh, by by playing with your flank. So tell your sniper to just on this point go into sniper window, the area over here, uh, as soon as you can. I, I capped the point, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you, you you guys had a really good exchange. Uh, you used early, they they, they used later, but I think they tried to use on their scout. I didn't quite see what happened, but uh, you guys did win that exchange. So well done. Uh, I like the aggression from Windex here. He's kind of being baited. Uh, remember that you only need times three on the cart, so anybody, like, it, it should just be your scout and NG. You're heavy, and, and even you, Drafty, you could have been up there healing Windex, and uh, you guys could have... I think he was being a little over aggressive. That's why I probably didn't follow him. I, I that's what I'm saying though is I think that that was not being over aggressive. Well, okay. it, it was because his team wasn't with him. But if you guys were there, like, because that's what you should be doing. Like your whole team should have been up here just denying yeah, we them. Should, we, sh we should we should support him more if he's gonna go for plays like that too. Make sure like, he communicates not, it not too though. Not everything is an overextension. Like sometimes it's like it's good. Oh, uh, unfortunate. Drop there. Yeah. Yeah, their soldiers have just been staying alive for way too long. It seems like some people didn't react. Um, but... I think Windex saves my life here or something. No, I kill him. Ha! It That's happens. Yeah, unfor unfortunately you guys are at full disad here, but on the flip side, you guys have six and a half minutes to cap this last point. So, because you defended so well, so, um... This is probably, is this? this is totally fine. I would even go for, like, a blitz the cart play. Meaning you just have like your whole team just get on cart and see if you can just sneak the cap. We're well, not even sneak it, but just through sheer force of that many players try to cap under their nose. That's what actually I was calling for before I got dropped by that soldier. It's like just go for like everyone on cart. <laughs> I would only really recommend this if you're at disad, gotcha. which which you are, and that's totally fine. Looks like their pyro is dead, so your soldier probably has oh, an yep. opening here. There it is. Yeah, and then you kill the medic. Trick. Yeah, yeah, that's huge. That's huge. Yes. I don't know how that fucking works. I think, I well, their pyro right died. The their pyro died, so you you had an opening right there. And then, yeah, if you drop the medic, and you, you guys just probably capped, they were crumbling. Um, pretty good, but I think one of the things that I uh, did notice about your guys' team is you guys are relying a little too much on your pick classes to make openings and stuff and plays. Like, Sniper's going to usually get a lot of kills in Highlander. It's just the nature of the game. And if your sniper is just carrying you, that's fine. But you shouldn't have to rely on, like, Val Valerie to make, like, to get med drops and to, like, just kill their whole team for you guys to be able to win exchanges. Like, you guys should be able to win exchanges in a traditional fashion, meaning, like, their whole team is alive and your whole team is alive, just based on better positioning and good Ubers and stuff. And I think you can do that, um, but just... Uh, if it's working out that your spy and your sniper are able to get these awesome picks and it's working, just just keep rolling with it. Uh, but I just hope that if that doesn't work out against some teams that are more spy aware or that don't peek snipers as much, you, I, I need uh, I, I'd want you guys to get practice with those situations as well. Um, but yeah, I think uh, apart from a couple of weird positionings from Windex, I think he played this really well. He didn't die that much which is very important for demo. Um, I do think your heavy had some questionable positions, especially on defense, but I'm sure that can be worked out with just, uh, you know, just letting him know. And uh, on last, just remember that your soldier is positioned on like kind of the left flank in that room there. We call it short on my team, where the pack is. Um, when it comes to second defense of apartments, just, uh, Drafty, you're standing in the right spot down there, so keep standing there and just make sure someone's watching when they actually push in and then use on your pyro. Gotcha. Uh, use on your pyro every time and you guys will be able to defend that point every single time. It should be fine. It In your division, I wouldn't expect teams to know to rotate to tunnel a lot, but if they do, you guys can then rotate to combat them in front of the tunnel mouth, the main tunnel mouth. But that, that probably won't happen. Um... And when it comes to pushing apartments from the other side, 
uh, like I said earlier, you want to lead on your pyro uh, on, with, with an Uber. Have your pyro air blast and make room for your demo, and then flat, like have the rest of the Uber on your demo while your heavy stays back and is the doorman. Uh, that's generally how you want to do it. You can also run sacks on pretty much any of the points, but I won't get into that. Um, on second, though, you can, like, it, your pyros, some pyros like to run flog. They'll build it on first, then just go in, try to force the medic. They go in alone, obviously, and then you guys will then have add once your pyro respawns. Make sure your pyro respawns without flog, though, with just a standard, like, or, or a uh, flamethrower that can air blast. Because I do think air blast on offense and defense of apartments is very important. Um, but if, I will open up to questions now. If you guys have any questions, you can go ahead. Um, well, just something I observed. Did anyone see a teleporter in the tunnel when we were retreating from first back to apartments? Because I don't think we had one in there pointing back over to apartments. And that would have been really helpful for our NG getting his gun back. Mm. Well, it's I. There probably wasn't one, but at the same time, uh, he did leave really late, <laughs> so That's probably true. didn't have time to actually even get anything set up. No, he actually really didn't. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm glad you brought that up because it is worth repeating. Your NG was very slow to get out of first. I don't know if he wasn't paying attention or was distracted, but like. Your NG should probably be the first one to pull out because it's your NG like needs to be predicting almost in advance when they need to fall back and set up, you know, to make sure you guys have a good defense of whatever point you're trying to defend. So he should be the first one going back to second in apartments. Like the fact that you guys didn't have an, any NG presence on second was a big part of why you lost it. So just make sure your NG knows to do that. Okay. Um,. I think at the end there too, like uh, the flank classes got in from below them too, and that's partly because um, I can't one v three the flank, and our soldier was playing with the combo. But well, yeah, uh, the, and the NG was dead because he left late. But it, they got they got in from below us too at that point. Yeah, if you have no gun up, then their flank like a scout can just run into yard, and a soldier can just bomb you for free. The gun's just so important on that point, so yeah. Um, just a thought for the future. Uh, if we ever encounter a spy who just sits in the house on the ledge and likes to pepper the, the gun on second with the enforcer, who should we send to counter that? Soldier. Soldier? Yeah, okay. Easy jump up. Yeah, because your soldier should already be kind of over there watching the side tunnel anyway. So that's, that's just an easy little jump to get up there, and he'll at least distract the spy, if not kill him. Your scout can go too, but you generally want someone to be watching the tunnel area. Uh, not just... You don't want your whole... Yeah, you, you don't want someone to be watching it. I'm going to go ahead and end the recording here, because I do want to get to my team. We do have some scrims tonight. Um, but I hope this was helpful. Thank you. And this was awesome. Thank you for doing this for us, FaZe.